How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and test out my new tire setup. It's Ass Guys or Ass Guys uh, on the front and rear. They're 29ers, 2.5s. I still run the same tire pressure. It's 23 in the back and 22 in the front. Um, I also still have the tire rinses in there. I already had them so might as well slap them on there on the front and rear. And I also have the double down in the rear tire. Um, I just gotta say that the double down is makes the tire extremely heavy. So if you're trying to go for weight, I do not recommend the double down. Um, it's really, really heavy, especially on this ass, ass guy tire. Um, my previous setup was a DHF in the front and aggressor in the rear. I'm personally not a big fan of the aggressor. It's a little bit too slip and slide for me. Uh, I prefer grip over the slip and slide. And obviously there's no perfect tire that works for everybody. Um, and aggressor was definitely not for me so if this doesn't work out i think i'm just gonna go back to the dhf dhf uh, i really like that setup or even the high rollers i like those two setups but uh yeah let's get on the bike and uh test this out and see how it feels ass guys uh front and rear testing take one we're at distortion see how it goes uh we haven't had any rain in a while so it's pretty loose My water bottle cage is broke, so I can hear that rattling right now. Woo! Whoa! I think it's rattling pretty bad. Hopefully I don't lose, lose my water bottle. Okay, so far. See how the grip feels? All right, it definitely grip really good. Whoa! Go through this chunk. Nice! So far, so good. Whew. This section always slows me down. Whew. That rattling. Oh. Oh. Almost went off the trail. Yeah, grip is pretty good on these things. So drop down. Yeah. My water bottle. Sorry about the rattling. Whoa! Freaking throw it out. Yeah, a lot of the burps are blown out a little bit. <laughs> that was not because of the grip. These are. Whew. Oh, yeah, the grip is definitely there. <sighs> Doesn't roll as fast as the old setup, but grip is there. All right, so these are my quick impressions on these tires so far. Uh, it's just riding distortion. Obviously, they grip a lot more than the aggressor. So it almost have to like get used to them now because I was used to breaking early and maybe training a little bit earlier with the aggressors because that will kind of slide into the berm. Now it just doesn't slide, it's just grips. So like in the beginning I was training a little too soon just because it grips so much that I was expecting that slide that never happened. So now I just gotta kinda I guess I have to trust them more. Overdrive with ass guys, ass a guy, however you say it, front and rear. Let's go. And I just gotta add that this is obviously more dry than it usually is. Whoa. Whoa. Came in a little too low on that turn. This was one of those areas where it's pretty flat. You got to pedal. 
I definitely feel a lot slower. <laughs> they were hitting with some jumps pretty soon. Yeah, I definitely feel a lot slower on these tires. Here we go. Here's the jumps coming up. I'm already tired. Yeah, super sandy, but the tires are still gripping fairly well. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see if these tires can fly. We're at Jumpy Mouse. I still get flashbacks of Shadow right here. Woo. Oh, nose heavy for sure. Gotta loosen up. Ever since I saw Shadow eat it there, in the back of my head every time i go through that section i tense up i wish i knew when they come out here to work on these things i'm down to help out a little short on that And I usually just go left right here. I don't like going down to a little, you know, a little place down here. I usually run into rattlesnakes. And just yesterday, I ran into some wildcat, some sort of wildcat in my local trail. It was pretty big, dude. It was like a size of uh, a normal sized dog, I guess you can say. And uh, had a short tail. And it definitely was not a deer. It was a cat-like. Ran into that guy when I was right by, by myself in the middle of nowhere. And then on the way back, on the same section I saw the wildcat, or the bobcat, whatever it is, or it was, uh, I almost hit a rattlesnake. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit, a rattlesnake! Oh. That shit was pretty freaky. I was kind of like just scanning the area to see if I saw that wildcat again. I was just trying to go home, pretty much the only way back. And I was scanning the area. And as I was scanning, I wasn't paying attention. It was ahead of me and I almost hit that rattlesnake. So I'm not gonna push my luck today. I'm just gonna go straight to the car now. Okay, so like always, I like to get my final thoughts once I've, you know, driven home and chilled for a little bit. But in the meantime, well, I told you guys what I think. I'm gonna go ahead and make some michelada. Uh, if you guys are in the Oceanside area, you guys gotta try this little mix, spicy mics. Has nothing to do with mountain biking, I know, but I like to have a little lunch after I ride. So what I can say about the tires is that um, they grip really, really good. There's definitely a price you have to pay though, is and that's speed. Uh, just because um, you know it does grip, you lose a lot of speed. I felt that on the straightaways. And I felt that like right before the jumps, I felt like I had to put a little more effort into jumping. So just like the 29er is forgiving on the trails with the chunky parts, like I feel like this tire is forgiving on the grip part. The tires are confident, inspiring. Uh, you trust the bike a little bit more. Oh, that's good. Mm. Um, so yeah, I recommend this to everybody that just wants grip. Oh yeah, one thing I also wanna add, I know I said, I don't know if I said it in the video already, but when I was jumping, I felt a lot of the gyro effect um like if i wanted to tilt the bike a little bit 
I mean, I don't do big whips or anything like that yet, but when I would jump and I wanted to tilt it a little bit, I could definitely feel like the gyro effect fighting me a little bit. So at the end of the day, this is all my opinion. Uh, you know, it might be different for you. If you have any other questions you would like me to answer, go ahead and just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you for uh, watching our video and we'll see you out on the trails.